Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to look at using the Moog Model 15 app on a desktop computer running Mac OS Big Sur. Before Big Sur, the Model 15 app was only able to run on an iPad or an iPhone, but with some of the changes in the new OS, for the first time ever, we're able to use the Model 15 app on a computer as well. While it can run as a standalone app, for this example, we're going to look at using the Model 15 within GarageBand. So to start, I'm going to open GarageBand. I'm going to select an empty project and I'm going to create a software instrument. The default instrument that loads is going to be an electric piano. So to change that, let's go down to where it says plugins and select the drop down arrow. And then within the blue bar that says E piano, hit the arrows on the right side and select AU Instruments, Moog, Model 15, and Stereo. So now the Model 15 app is loaded within GarageBand and I'm going to select a preset that I want to use. It's also important to note that currently I have the grandmother set up to act as a MIDI controller for my computer. So it's not going to be making any sounds, but when I press keys, we'll be able to hear the Model 15 app playing within GarageBand. So let's hear how that sounds. Now let's look at making a loop within GarageBand. So to do this, I'm going to make sure that my metronome's on, I'm going to turn looping on, and I'm going to hit this record button. Since I like how that sounds, now I'm going to make a new instrument and once again select the Model 15 app. I'm going to go into my presets and select another preset. another loop. As you can see, it's very easy to use the Model 15 app within GarageBand. And what's even more exciting is we can create multiple copies of the instrument within GarageBand to build up dense compositions all with the Model 15.